Hi guys, it's us again, and I know by now you you probably kind of like smell or can observe la, that we are doing this in one sitting, which is okay. So <laughs> hi, uh, again I'm I'm Jia Xian and with me is Dr. Mok Ingren, and we are here to just uh, discuss one uh one small passage so that we can point uh, you guys to Christ. La while you are pursuing your excellence in your sports and executing all that you need to do uh, in your competition. So let's get started for today's uh, Devo. Let's get started, man. And the next verse is something that we just skipping through the Bible and it comes to our view, right? 1 Corinthians 15, 53. 1 Corinthians 15, 53, right? It says, For this perishable body must put on the imperishable and this mortal body must put on immortality when the perishable puts on the imperishable and the mortal puts on immortality then shall come to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory O death where is your victory O death where is your sting it's amazing i think this verse is wonderful because the reality is that as we compete uh, on the competition field tomorrow, we have to realize that our body is perishable. Mm. Yeah, what is perishable? I mean, you know, uh, we get injured, uh, we get sick, and one day, one day, all of us here cannot compete anymore, right? So we mm. are indeed perishable. And truly, this is a great reminder that we need to put on the imperishable, we need to put on the immortality. And with that, the wonderful thing happens. Death is the death of death, right? And death is sold up in victory by Christ Jesus. The sting of death, verse 36 says, is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, we need to be very careful, right? Maybe someone may take verse 57, you know, and use that and say, tomorrow you will win, you know. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, we need to be careful with that. You know, you know, surely if, if we are going to be faithful with the Bible, there's no way that guarantees us a gold medal tomorrow. But what it guarantees you is something more significant, right? It is a victory of sin, you know, guys. The victory of sin. And I think that is the biggest victory that we have secure. And with that understanding, we can then execute our race with so much joy, knowing that ultimate victory has been won. And these are small things along the way that we can really enjoy uh, what God has given us. So what do you think, man? How does this help our athletes, bro? Uh, understanding this. Yeah, I like it when you first mentioned, right? Like, yeah, I mean, in, in sports, uh, it's very common uh, that we encounter injuries. And of course, injury is something that we don't wish for. And I, I'm sure, Mok, you definitely can identify with uh, injury. I mean, where you also shared your testimony, right? Like a few weeks back during uh, Easter Sunday. So, yeah, maybe we can dive a bit deeper and discuss la. Yeah, So about like injury. And I, I like it when you say, uh, wow, this two, three verses really tells us that actually we have the uh, we have a victory over death. Yeah. Oh, but it is a very loaded phrase, right? How, how, how do we make sense of these three words, uh, victory over death, in our sporting life, in our daily life, in our training? Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. I think that's great, right? I think what the word that comes to mind is perspective again. Now. Okay, which one is worse, injury or death? Death, for sure. <laughs> death, right? For sure it's death, right? So death, and this death is not just physical death, no? it's actually eternal death. That means death is eternal separation from God. No? You know, um, but yet, uh, the death of sin uh, is already won over by Jesus Christ. Okay, so now with that perspective, uh, then you take that and you compare our injury, right? Now, our injury is a small thing. Right not? Right? It really uh, puts things into perspective, and perspective is very important. 
Because if, if without that understanding of the big perspective, then this injury, even though it's like that, uh, can appear very big in our minds, right? Can appear like this is going to shake my whole world up. But actually, it's not. You know? mm. See? So I think it's, it's the thing about perspective, right? And um, we need to realize that Christ has won the larger victory. Right? And yeah, there's no guarantee uh, that the athlete may not get injured. Right? And surely some of you right now may be going through some kind of injury um, and so on, maybe trying to uh, just get ready for the race tomorrow. Right? And I think our encouragement here would be that truly God is in control. I mean, really, what can a Christian have at rather except to rest in God's control in someone who loves us? Right? I mean, I mean the world can only offer you false security. Don't worry, lah, bro. You'll be fine. Huh? Sure can one. I mean, where, 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 where does those phrases rest on? You know? Nothing. It's just empty clouds. You know? But truly what we have in Christ is ultimate control. Regardless of outcomes, Christ is there with us. And really, that gives us the confidence to go out there and fight our hearts out. Right? Knowing that everything is in control and the eternal uh, victory has been won by Him. Yeah. Mm, nice. And I believe, I mean, through your testimony, uh, maybe, I mean, people, brothers and sisters who are hearing this, I can take um, Mock's uh, testimony. Uh, I'll, I'll send the link to us. You can see sure. his journey as well. Yeah, it was pretty intense uh, when I heard uh, this testimony. Yeah, yeah. yeah, sure. It was really a great journey, man. I mean, seriously. Um, because my identity was in my running. Mm. Right? And when running was taken away from me, that really shook my world up, you know. And thank God, right, that he saved me out of that and really uh, gave me a new identity in Christ and conquered the ultimate uh, problem of sin. So... So yeah, feel free to check it out and really uh, thank God for that and pray that God will use it mightily in your life. Lah. So okay guys, let me close us in prayer, okay brother? Okay, yes. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you uh, for this short time, this morning, or uh, whatever time it is uh, over there from Dodi that are listening to this. We just pray that you bless uh, the listener of this podcast that even as we, um, in our weakness, share what we think this verse is talking to us about, we just pray that you work in your own way in this person's heart so that you bring that joy uh, and thankfulness uh, towards you. So we give thanks to you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen.